Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Great Hall of Hogwarts. Apparently, so uh, yeah, it's virtual reality. I can wave at you. Hi, hi. I have, well, not hands exactly. I have sign and sign. Anyway, yeah, I got VR now, the Oculus Quest. So, on the one hand, hand uh, that does mean I'm supporting Facebook, but on the other, it's probably the cheapest quality headset available, and also it's capable of standalone play. So that seems like a very useful thing, and that's why I picked it, even though I'm not entirely, you know, satisfied with Facebook. Anyway, <clears throat> this is Moss, which is a storybook, apparently. It's a seated VR experience, I'm told, uh, by the menu. You can't see it, but I am indeed on a chair. It really does feel like I should be, you know, like standing, because, you know, it's VR, but eh. sitting it is, I suppose. Okay. Uh, what kind of game is this? I think it's sort of a platformer, except it's sort of an indirect platformer. And also I should check as my... Yeah, I've recorded the good. It's good. Sorry, I had to lean the headset up a bit. Because uh, you don't you know, I'm not jumping. I'm going to be controlling a character who's jumping. It'll be simpler enough to explain. So, let's open the storybook. A map. And a butterfly. And whispers. Oh, hey. The title. Your time has come at last, dear Mine. reader. While we began this tale long ago, we hope it is yours to finish. But this story is not yours alone. No, it is tied to another. And the journey you take together could change the fate of both our worlds. Hey, same Shall old, same old. That's nothing new for me. They called it the Cinder Knight. What came from those dark, starless skies would change the world of Moss forever. A pigeon, apparently. The peace that had settled across the land was broken by an unconquerable nightmare. And that Pigeons night, are... The animals nearly met their end. Apparently the nightmare was grayscale. It's up to you, you're still kind of blue. Oh, that's right. This is a storybook. I need to turn the page. First, they killed the king. A winged creature oh. broke mm. from the shadows and plucked him from his royal bedchamber high atop the tallest tower. Is that mouse of a mustache? Next, the serpent Sarfog and the armies of the arcane tore up from the underworld. They ravaged the castle in search of that which gave the king power beyond understanding. One of the fabled glass relics. Glass relics. That doesn't sound all that powerful. That sounds kind of fragile, in fact. The King's Guard fought bravely, but the castle soon pulsed with the Arcane's evil. Every room was gutted. That's Every quite the statue, Looks tapestry, more like a and adornment hexed. But the glass was never found. Even the reclusive sprites set aside their differences on that faded night. They sent a great champion, empowered by their own glass relic, to challenge the serpent and its steel army. So, metal enemies is what I'm getting from that. Lift the page. Meanwhile, Sir Argus, Commander of the King's Guard so led the survivors him, west guess. through a temple long abandoned by their ancestors and far away from their newly risen enemies. It was an arduous Mouse escape. Squirrel. Finally, after passage beneath the impassable mire, they found refuge Wait, if it's in a clearing oh, beneath. safely in the trees. They were able to pass it because they went beneath it, I see. Argus charged back to join the sprite champion at the mire's edge. Together, they fought back the arcane and sealed the temple passage that led to the clearing. But the champion was gravely injured, 
Clutching his glass, he retreated deep into the forest where he drew his last breath. Turned into a tree. A large tree grew upon him. It stood many years in watchful duty, safeguarding the glass and awaiting its next hero. I presume we're going to have something to do with that next hero. Oh, that's bright. That vision is filled with whiteness. So at the very edges, I can see little black edges. Oh well, that's fine. Ooh, it's tiny. That hero, albeit an unlikely one, did arrive Ooh, at a time grass. she'd be needed Ooh. most. I can wiggle the grass. Oh, hey, it's a tiny, tiny artifact. Ugh. I'm actually reaching out of my. Oh, hello Will there. Was out adventuring beyond the edge of the clearing. <laughs> Dusk was creeping in. But she wondered what she might find if she went just a little farther. Yeah, I know that feeling, Quill. Hello. Dang it, Quill, you're just outside of my play area. I didn't set this correctly. <laughs> a raven. Hey. Where'd it go? Teeny tiny quill. Are you looking at me? No. I don't, don't think you. <laughs> She's got the glass, I guess. Another teeny tiny pouch. That is a truly teeny tiny pouch. Oh. She was not exactly sure oh. what she roused. Hello. But she felt no danger from the being silently peering down at her. Hello there. Night. Quill had to hurry. The village gates would Ooh. soon close, and night would follow. Night. Let's see. Ah, okay. Yeah, yeah. So, I'm controlling Quill with my left analog stick. And I'm not very good with the controller, so that's going to be interesting. Bug. Uh, let's see. Buttons. Ooh, I can make a jump. Bounce, bounce, bounce. Oh, this is really cool at VR. Yeah. Can you go down here? No, there's an invisible wall there. You can rustle the grass, though. I can rustle the grass. All's good. Okay. So... To climb. And then this will teleport me over there, I assume. Butterfly. Ooh. Am I in a stream? Yeah, I'm in a stream. Cool. Hello. Pet the mouse. The mouse does not respond to being petted. But. So, okay, so it wants me to, um, oh, my controls are vibrating a little bit every so often. I think that's supposed to be our heartbeat or something? Oh, I made her get our sword. Oh, she can be able, she can be a tiny hia. I can make her cut the grass. Okay, so, oh, that's right, this is, I have to do this. It's outside my play area, though. Okay. Ah. So now, yes, you climb up here, and then jump. Oop, I jumped you off. Sorry. Not that good with the controller. Oh, this is going to be... It's going to be interesting. Okay. Whoa. Okay. And... There we go. Ah, no! I almost made her fall off. I hope there aren't any, um... 
um, <laughs> deadly pits around Ooh, flowers. Oh, we nothing but rocks and things over here. Okay, let's back off a little bit. Oh, sorry, I left you um, kind of hanging there. Literally. Ah, that'll be the next area that we're going to. I assume. Ooh. Let's see. Here's a thing to grab. Ah, so I can only move it left and right, huh? Interesting. Hmm. So we need to get up there, I would assume. It's down here. Eh. Eh. Okay. Eh. Well, I can see your outline. Um. Hey, where are you going, Quill? It's walking when I'm not touching the analog stick. Okay. Let's move this back then. Okay, so you're down in that hole now. That's awfully... It's too high for you to jump. Hmm. Okay, I think I need to reset my... Place space a little bit. Uh, hopefully, this doesn't mess everything up. Okay. All right, that's better. Ugh. You're still outside of my play space, though. So. Okay, let's move way back. Sorry, I'm still getting the hang of this whole VR thing. Reset for you. There we go. Hi. <laughs> She's telling me to pull the thing. Okay. I will pull the thing. I'm not sure what good it will do, though. Can I pull any other direction? No. Hmm. Ooh, there's a scroll up here, which is again outside my play space. I mean, I can reach it, but I'm worried I'm going to hit something. <laughs> Hmm. Can I give you a lift up? No. Oh, I can pet you with the trigger. Hmm. How do I get you up? Mm hmm. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I pulled. What does that actually do for you? Hmm. You can't jump that high. There's no like climbing surface, is there? Hmm. Great, stuck on like the second puzzle. <laughs> Quill must be so embarrassed to have me as a guide right now. Where are you going, Quill? That wall over there, I guess. Okay. Hmm. What else do, can I do? I made her get her get a sword out. Hmm. There's only these things I can manipulate, so I can't like knock the stone down. I'm missing here. Wait a minute. We should go, yeah, go this way. Hey. Then you can go, huh? Then hop, hop. And how do you get up here? Hmm. Figure that out in a minute. Night, her uncle often warned, was when danger was most present. Almost but Quill great. preferred the stories of the magical creatures that woke to protect the forest. Hmm. Ah, she is shimmy space. Cool. Drop 
down and place hop. Okay, and you're over. And now let's move this back. Hello. Yep, yep, I'm on it. Yep, yep, I got it. There we go. Oh yeah, I can feel her heartbeat when I'm petting her. Cool. <laughs> I must up her hair a bit. Okay, up and up. And there we go. Bit of drama roll there. Oh, that didn't work. Come on up you go. There we are. Ooh, scroll. Ooh, is that a shield? Achievement unlocked forgotten pieces. Okay. Alrighty. <laughs> a mouse fort over there. Where are you? Ooh, spidery log. That's not. Did you just close the door on me? Oh, there you are, Quill. Oh, that's where we just came from. All right. Yeah, look at the tiny cart over there. Tiny market stalls. Oh, you can climb on top of the tiny market stalls. And they're... You can't get closer, but they're... Uh, looks like the roofs are made out of leaves, although the leaves don't match the color of the leaves around them, so... To the tiny mouse fort, I guess. Wait, are we inside of the fort or outside the fort? Hey. Come on, Quill. Sometimes the uh, tracking, the direction tracking gets a bit messed up. There we go. Why is that a control? Hmm. I'll just sort that out. Ooh, there's a scroll up there. So hop up on the um hop up on the thing. And then up on the rock. And what's this? Nothing terrible. Yeah, no. There we go. Oh, this is really cool. I like this. Ah, I'm gonna be terrible at it, but I like it anyway. And jump! There we go. Now I'm up on the, uh, well, Quill, rather. He's up on the, um, up on the barricade. Ah, I can't ring the bell. Oh well. Lantern. I can mess with the lantern, though. Oh! Apparently, I have to open the gate. All right, come on down, Quill. You don't take fall damage, do you? I hope not. Nope. Use. All right, let's open the gate. And onward to the little mouse town, by the look of it. Hello, mouse guard. Bother you. Ugh. <laughs> nice helmet. Ooh, little floppy ears he has. Also, Quill has really big ears compared to him. Where are we? Ah, over there. Teeny tiny boat. That's where we're supposed to go. Oh, hey! Wait, you're not a mouse. You're some sort of squirrel thing. And you got little toy swords. I presume we're supposed to be going this way. Hello. No. <laughs> Someone just phased right through you. Hmm, looks like, uh... Mommy... Bushtail Possum, perhaps? Look at the tiny, tiny tails. <laughs> 
Are you? What? What is? What is he? I can't quite tell. And I can't quite get up there either. I'm a bit too far away, and my resolution's not quite good enough. Mushrooms. No. Oh. There are buildings up on this tree stump. And ooh, these are some uh... wiggle wiggle. <laughs> This is quite the village. And you're a sword mouse. Okay. Yeah. Trying to get my. Uh, get out of my. Uh, no, no. Trying to get grid to disappear. Mm -hmm. the branches. Yeah. Hey, there's no, there's no door here. It's just a window. Also, my cables are tangled. Knock, knock, knock. <laughs> this is cool. Let's see. Dude, where's my? There we. I'm just trying to find the sweet spot. Hmm? Ooh, a water wheel. Hello there. Um. Axe mouse? No, wait, you're not a mouse. You're like a bushtail possum or something. Hey. Ooh, there's a um, scroll up there. Uh -huh. hmm. Yeah, up there. No, not quite. Mouse on a visible wall. Hmm. Slow this. All right. Yep. Let's see. Need to be ready though. Right. Nope. Ooh, this is gonna be. I'm not gonna be good at this game, am I? There we go. Uh, hmm. Aha, shimmy, shimmy, and up, and hmm. Aha. So, up, and up. I'm not sure why I'm making noises of exertion for her. She's quite capable of making her own. All right, so another scroll. Hmm. Alright. Hmm. Ah. Go back here, go up here, around here. Hmm. It's gonna be a tricky jump. Okay. Oh, there's a shimmy space there. I don't think you can reach it. Okay, shimmy on over, shimmy on up. Nope, there's an invisible wall there. Hmm. Even though that is a very climbable slope. Hmm. Tie it around a little bit. You know, I'm not sure I want to know what happens if um, she's on this platform when, you know, it goes back down into the water. Hmm. So she has to do that. And she can't shimmy on these things here. Here, shimmy up. Shimmy up again. And 
Does this get me anything? No. Oh wait, yes it does. Chaperone to disappear. Okay. Oh, you're uh, up on the top of the. There we go. You could have totally climbed that slope, but okay. Okay. Hmm. And help you climb over and shimmy on up. Now. No, 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 no. How do I make you do the lever? There we go. That's, I'm not sure what button that is. There we go. Thanks to her new friend, Quill had saved priceless grains from the hourglass. Ah, no, 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 no. Dang it. And, okay. Hmm. Okay, now just hop down. Sorry about that. That was my fault. Here, let's do it for a second. There we go. Nope. There we go. Sorry about that. That was um, totally on me. <laughs> Must have prepared. Refer. Okay, off we go. Past the mushrooms. Is that where we're going over there? You look kind of out of town. Oh, you're big. She raced to the door of the cottage she shared with her uncle, hoping once he saw her discovery, he'd lose himself in tales of its legend. Hello, riding squirrel. There we go. Hope the riding squirrel. Is she, is she here? I suppose you're going to block this passage until later. So, into the tiny house. Ooh. Uncle Argus was watching the evening light dim when Quill burst through the front door of their cottage. Uncle, Uncle, there's something you have to see. Out past the bell again. He scolded. Quill, I've told you countless times. I know, Quill replied, Mustache. crestfallen. Mousestache. I didn't mean <laughs> to worry you, but I found something strange and magical. Magical. There we go. Quill's hands trembled as she showed him the glass. What is it? She asked. A look of panic spilled over her uncle's stoic uh -oh. exterior. Where did you find this? roared Uncle Argus. Quill had never seen her uncle so shaken. Ooh, there's a thing here. These must be the bits I'm collecting. A stained glass window, Just perhaps? West of the clearing, she explained. And as soon as I picked it up, Something started helping me. Uncle right. Argus followed her motion. A reader. <laughs> With you, here, right now? Yes, right now. Well, Quill, what you found is I'm very sorry. powerful and very dangerous. He said with great concern. If I could take this burden from you, I would. But this reader has chosen. I guess I have. Or sort of been volunteered. You know, I have never once, never once have I chosen who I'm going to uh, be working with. Right? That's, that's not how it works. I suppose I choose to stay with them, but. Eh. But you were Even right to be the moon nervous. Full and bright, I must go right away. Quill pressed. Where are you going? I can help. We can help. No, he snapped. They'll find you and tear you apart. I have to go alone. It is for your own safety and for everyone here in the clearing. That was a His long, heartfelt hug 
told her he was heading for danger. Well, hope he comes back from it. I suspect uh, Quill's going to be in some danger I'll be herself. back before midnight. Ooh, the Until I return, I need your word you will not leave the clearing with that glass. <laughs> promise me, Quill. I promise, she said reluctantly, wondering where her uncle was going so deep into the night. Ah! This again. Very bright and now very dark. <sighs> this house is bigger on the inside. There's Quill asleep at a table with hey. Fasis. Kid. Oh no. Kid. Oh Wake no. Up. It's Navi. I haven't played. Hey kid, over here. I know where your uncle went. I can show you. You're twofold now. Very important. Bring that glass and your sidekick too. Wait, wait, wait You're a minute. To need them. Doesn't even bother to introduce herself. Yeah. Quill called out. Hey! Starling, wait! What? Star Starling? Is that what she called it? Hmm. This is Quill's bed up here, or her uncle's bed. Oh, I found a thing. Wow, it's very dark behind the fourth wall. Except, is it quite the fourth wall? Because, you know, I'm not on the other side of the fourth wall, I'm just here in the darkness. Ooh, that's a big sword. It's a tiny house. <laughs> I wonder what that is that's providing the light. And up there, too. Okay. Is that a clock? Uh, I can't tell. Alright, explain Quill yourself. Oh, never no! Met a starving. In campfire stories, they often meddled in the lives of mortals. And when they appeared, mischief followed. Yeah. Joy. So we got a sprite. You should explain yourself. Yeah. I had to be taking my uh, little mouse into danger. I should at least know what Passage I'm taking her into. Passage through the eastern gate was strictly forbidden. But despite her promise, Quill knew in her heart that Uncle Argus needed her. Yeah. Hmm. That way. Ooh, there's a scroll there. Now, how do I get to it? Since I apparently can't climb over those uh, barrels. And I can't just open this gate. Hmm. You could totally climb this ledge, but apparently you can't. Here. I'm leaning outside my play area. That's what you get when you lean outside your play area. Hmm. Nope, that's a dead end. Can't do that. 
Anything with a stick? No. Hmm. Actually, I wonder... Yeah, I can just smash the barrels and collect stuff, apparently. Let's go and... Interesting. So this wisp has made this gate something I can open. Quill demanded answers. Me too! Starving, you can't just barge in here with your riddles. Where is he? What do you know? The trouble your uncle's heading for is the kind only you and that silent giant up there can get him out of. I'm not a giant. Actually, can I go back from here? Because there was a side passage. Maybe if we walk away a little bit, she'll uh, be more responsive. What's this way? Nothing, apparently. Hmm. Odd. Maybe that'll open up later. Eh. This is a terrible idea. We should not be following you. And Quill knows it. Lift this out of the way. No. Then perhaps to push it away. Now oh, it's outside of my play area again. Ugh. Aha. Here we go. Oops. I just dropped pens and something or something. Okay. And this back in here into the convenient slot. Hmm. Get up here? No. Yeah, this is going to take you getting used to. Okay. No, no. Okay. Here. Ah, you can shimmy here. There we go. We're closer now. Oh boy, a magical purple portal. That's, um. Jump! Oop, and I missed. Sorry. Itchy nose, itchy nose. How we got one? Forty-one minutes. Let's um, eh. Let's go through this portal, see where that takes us, and then maybe call it an episode. Oh, try all this out. There we go. Now you can get uh, here. Here in my eye. So. This way, kid, urged the starving. And don't forget to tuck your ears in. I don't know. Okay. Where are we? Dragonflies. Ooh, deer over there. Safe and sound. Oh, but now we can't go back. Thanks a lot, starving. It's still no answers. It's just bugs, though. How come I can touch the plants? Hey, Russell, what? Hey, hold still, pull. Come on. There we go. But, you know, it's here. 
so much stuff on my head. I'm sorry, I left you there with the bug. Okay, that'll be the end. Eh, sorry about that. That was, uh, that was on me. Sorry. Ooh, she likes that. Her heart's beating faster. There we go. Alright. Let's try... No, 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 we don't want that. Careful. You could probably do that way better than I could. This... Giant battle axe. Or, not giant battle axe, just regular size battle axe. Oh, joy. Hmm. Alright, you star thing, you got something for me to uh, pull up? Okay. Notice you there. Figure out this, uh, this weird control bit business where she keeps moving away from the camera. Maybe my stick needs calibrated or something. Okay, and stay put. Right, and this. Okay, and over. Stay there. And she yeah. Okay. It looks like there's a passage back there, so can you whack these sticks? Yes, you can. Now let's Hi there. That's a really tall deer. Because it's like full size when I'm sitting on sitting down. Nah, can't kill the mushrooms. There's an old helmet. They're over there to that. Oh, looks like we're going to an old shack. There's a, a rideable squirrel there. I'm not sure why there's a rideable squirrel, but there is indeed a rideable squirrel. I'm back there. So take you around this way. Just whack that stick. And just whack this stick for good measure. And hop. And oh, here's a here's a scroll. Yay! Okay. Good job. Alright. Back over. Yeah. Oh wait, no, I should have. No, no, I do want to be here. Oh, it's an old shield. This must be the site of some ancient battle. All right. Yeah. Breastplate and uh, sword. It's a pretty big sword. That's in there, way, way deep. Oh, there's a raft there. I'm guessing that we're going to be taking the raft. There's an old battleground. All right, we're here. Nope. Just on the other side is the mire, the starving assured her. There's a good chance your uncle's still there. Eh, no. All right. Across the mire, huh? Oh, it's Uncle's Squirrel. All righty, so off the mutt, through the mire we go. That is a very big moon. 
a very, very big moon. Anyway, uh, how long have we been going for? 47 minutes. Uh, some of that's going to be trimmed out, of course, because, you know, messing around, trying to get the settings right. But, um, we'll be back soon with more mods. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye!